Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Colonator here, and we're coming back at you guys with a top five list for the. Uh, let me think. What is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we're we'll coming back to you with a top five list of the free to play, some free to play titles that you can play on your PC that I enjoy, and I think you will too. So, the criteria for a game to be on this list is obviously it has to be a free to play FPS, it also has to be fun. And it can't be just like loaded with, you know, like ads and stuff like that for them to make money. It's got to be like playable, you know what I mean? And you got to be able to enjoy your time with it, which, you know, is pretty important nowadays because some developers think they can just get off with loading the game full of ads to make the monies and then, you know, you don't have no enjoyment. So we're going to get straight into it coming at you with our number five pick. Coming at you with our number five pick is Blacklight Retribution, which I find to be a very fun game, and I do enjoy it a lot. It has okay graphics for a free-to-play game, which is, and it has actually really not too bad. It's set in the future, which is kind of on display with the kind of gadgets you have, like, in a, you got see-through walls right there. You know, it's got, like, a heat sensor, and it's just a really great game for, like, you know, free-to-play setting, it's just really fun, and if you don't have money to buy games for your PC, it's pretty important to have a game like this that's free-to-play. And, yeah, it's pretty easy there, which makes it just honestly a great game. I enjoy it a lot, and I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it, too. Now, what we should be coming in at our number four pick right about now. My number four pick for this list is going to be Hawken. Now, this is a mech-based PvP shooter, er, first-person shooter, which is pretty rare for free-to-play titles nowadays. It is a fluent and fast-paced game in really any mech. It is very good smooth gameplay with lots of fun to be had here. It's an e it's e it can be a game to have fun with friends, and an overall great experience. Now, when I first picked this game up, you know, kind of thought it would be kind of like a cheap Titanfall copy for some reason. I don't know, I didn't have much research on the game, but you know, kind of just guesstimated, figured, you know, what's the risk here? I'll just download it, it's free, who cares? We'll check this out, and then, you know... I'm not really getting deep into it. I played this with a couple of friends. We kind of grouped up, and it was super fun destroying the other team's mechs. And once you just, you know, once you just destroy someone's mech and just obliterate them, it's just that great feeling that you just can't get over. You know, when you have them kind of great feelings in a game, you gotta keep the game. Now, coming in at our number three pick will be this game. This game is called The Planet Side 2. It is a massively, and I mean massively, multiplayer game with over 2,000 people in one huge map in a game. It is a great combination of vehicles and infantry. It has three factions battling it out, and it can create a very immersive experience and somewhat feel like a real battlefield. It is important to mention that this game is a lot, and I mean a lot, funner with friends involved. You know, that's normally the case of pretty much all games, you know. PC is a very open platform. Yeah, we have a lot of different games and you know, you just kinda wanna have friends to play with. That's how PC is meant to be played in my opinion. It's meant to play this enormous library of games that you can get with your friends. Now, jumping back to Planet Side 2, it's set in the future, I believe. It kind of looks like, you know, they got, like, jetpacks and all this flying crap, and, you know, this guy in the trailer should probably be dead at this point. I mean, like, shoot, like, you know what I mean? Like, how you running on top of a plane not getting blown off? Like, some probably gonna say, like, magnetism juice. No, that don't make sense. I don't know about that magnetism to life. I don't know. Like, right there, he just, he's like, he's about to hit the sucker hard. But, besides the fact... We are coming in with my number two pick, which, you know, it's, it would have been on this list. It's Team Fortress 2. And this game is very widely known on the free-to-play market. 
and it is for a huge reason. It is a great game. It has cool, a cool class space playing type, and has tons of action. Kind of reminds me of Overwatch, but I mean, this was made first, so maybe Overwatch reminds you of Team Fortress 2. But it has a fluent gameplay and a fun player hat system, which is pretty fun to customize, you guys. Now, it kind of shows, you know, hey, I played this game a lot. I got all these cool hats. So, yeah. And there's a lot to say that hasn't been said here that you can't really just see. You know, it's a really cool game. Look at how these classes are intertwined with each other, you know. You, it's best to have a mixed composition so, you know, everybody can kind of reap the benefits of each other, you know. This is really similar to a game like Overwatch. And if you like Overwatch, I imagine you'll like this. It's kind of got a cartoony graphics. And if you like cartoony graphics, it also got some pretty cartoony graphics, as you can see. Now, my favorite pers person to play as personally is the sniper. I don't know why. Just the satisfying feeling of shooting someone in the face is great. But coming at at our number one spot... It's going to have to be Warface. Now, to say this game is incredible isn't the understatement of the century. It is definitely the best free-to-play game, in my opinion, out right now. Survivalist is a game that you should go check out that I couldn't really review for this, but it's also a great game, so trust me. But it is, uh, Warface is a game with stunning visuals and awesome weaponry. It's set in a time which seems just to be past stars, you know, they got, like, Bit more futuristic stuff but it seems like they use similar guns to this time so you know it reminds me kind of of a call of duty game somewhat i mean the gameplay is really fluent you know there's always some gun shoot gun battles going on up in this game now you know if you are into the fast-paced action in awesome shooting games this game will be for you if you, if the graphics didn't convince you, or you didn't like it, or you don't like it, there's no penalty in even trying it, because it's a free game. You can't be hurt by, you know, losing $30 as if some other game, you know, somebody recommends it, and you hate it, you know. You don't lose well, some money there, obviously. But this game, nada, not even close. Because it's a free game. And I urge you, like... If you haven't heard anything yet, if you just turn it in somehow at the end of the video for some reason to see the number one pick, download this game. It's such a good game. Like, I can't even get over it. Like, for a free-to-play game, if you're on a budget, you know, this is like a Call of Duty for free with great, you know, it's just got such great graphics. Hope if your graphics card can take it, just max this sucker out. It just looks stunning. Now I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit, but it's just so great, man. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this list for today. This has been The Colonator, and I will be signing out, you know, just, just about now. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be epic. You know, raise this channel up a bit, see how many views we get on this. It's one of my videos exploded recently, but... It exploded like that big, but for me it's big. Okay, guys. I'll catch you guys later.